Where's my snare? Jaffe. Jaffe. <laughs> Welcome back, welcome back. Thank you for joining us on another episode of I Have Notes. Today we have a very special episode, or a very spiritual, spiritual episode. But before I get into this amazing panel that we have with us today, let's talk about ExpressVPN. Let's pull up that lower third. RTTV is sponsored by ExpressVPN. Don't let hackers steal your financial details. Secure your data, your data, however you prefer to say it, at expressvpn.com forward slash RT. TV. Now let's go to our, our amazing panel. Let's let's go to the co-hosts, the amazing and amazingly talented Aaron Wynn. Where you at, Aaron? Hey, it's me, special <laughs> co-host co today. Goodbye, Isan Carey. <laughs> <laughs> and who else, who else do we have with us? We have two very special guests today. Who's the first person? Let's go to... That's Sue. me, I guess. I'm Sam. first. Sam. Yeah, hey. it's me. I'm Sam. Hi. That's all what, I got. What favorite. is up, Sam? And who is our our next very special guest with us today? We have with us Kayla Milton. Brr, brr, brr. Hello. What is good? Hello. Yo, I like that shirt. Yeah. Wow. I thought. <laughs> cool. What is that? Yo, what is that top word? What is that like? Is this like Dantonbury? a Dantonbury? Like that is da that was my... Abbey? Downton Abbey. Dauntonbury. <laughs> that was a. That's the. That was the highlight of going to Japan was Dauntonbury. That place is so fucking cool. Ooh, what is it? It's that's just like a big area with myself. a lot of. It's just like a big area with a lot of food, right? Like I don't. I don't. It's you. You always see the crabs. They have like these buildings with the huge mechanical crabs, and you get crab at them. And yeah, it's like a like a mile long kind of um, like farmers markety thing. Okay. And like yeah, you can go to buy, and they just have vendors that got like the fresh you know wagyu and shit, and mm. all okay. the good good salmon okay. and tuna. It was it was awesome. You just like buy stuff right there, like off a guy in the street, and then he pulls out a tiny grill and cooks it for you. <laughs> what? It was dope. Before we continue on this. Before we continue on this talk, Mike brought up that that lower third because I missed it. Sign up and be a first member. We really <laughs> appreciate it. It's, you know, join us in the chat if you want to. Sign up for free trial, but be be a first member. Be a first member. Fert. And, and now back to uh, back to this talk here about Japan. Uh, what were you saying, Kayla? Uh -huh. Oh no, I was saying why are you <laughs> describing the uh, meat black market and B stars? <laughs> oh yes. Where where is that uh where is that Nintendo World? I'm just gonna call it Super Nin Super Nintendo World. Like the oh, whole Mario know, place is that in Osaka as well? No, I think it's like outside of Tokyo. I because I've never been to Japan, but that is probably okay. So real real quick, I have some stops. I have some stops. Uh, if I were to ever go to Japan after the after the panorama ends, after the <laughs> Panama Canal ends, um, I would like to go to Tokyo, specifically to that one little, I guess it's like the Times Square. It's that corner where like every movie drifts through, like a specifically Tokyo Drift for okay. Fast and Furious. Uh, underrated, Tokyo Drift is underrated. And then I would wanna go see that Super Mario World place. And then I would wanna just figure out that one village with the last ninja clan in it. Is what? That, I, I, think, I think this is real. I'm pretty sure I saw it's it on like, National Geographic or something. I'm pretty sure it's. I weird. mean, I would just guess it's probably Kyoto because that's where all the history shit is. But also, they filmed Tokyo Drift in Los Angeles, so I'm not Ooh, sure if that was like. Wait, no what? If you want to go to Los Angeles, <laughs> wait, the whole. But... No, wait, there's no way no, they did the... the whole thing though. No, the first half did, was in California. Did... Well, yeah, but then he goes. And then to... they go to Tokyo. Then he goes to Tokyo. Me the movies lie to me, and they the... don't film where they are. Yeah, I picked up the wiki just to just to double check myself, and it does say Tokyo Drift was shot almost entirely in Los Angeles. Oh, uh, why did you oh, say that? Oh no, that's this such is, a bummer. This is yeah. What? Wait, I even, know your dreams are but, but even not the real, classic line where even the classic line where like Lil Bow Wow's like, you know the you know what they call him DK, right? And then the dude that I never remember his name just goes Donkey Kong. Like, <laughs> please tell me that line was filmed in Japan. <laughs> I need filmed to at a parking garage at Hawthorne Plaza Shopping Center. Mm, tell me like that's in Japan. Me. Please tell me that's yeah. just a little no, prefecture in Japan. Please tell me. Hawthorne is a prefecture Hawthorne. in Japan. <laughs> yeah. You know, Shinjuku, oh, no. Harjuku, Hawthorne. Hawthorne, like, Hawthorne, <laughs> yeah. Hawthorne right there. You know, you know. Yeah. The whole Hawthorne Edo period. We all, yeah. we all know about that. Right? Yeah. Nobunaga, right? 
<laughs> oh Bro. my goodness. Oh, I How's... totally forgot to add this to the topic sheet, but they, uh, before I forget, they dropped the, um, fuck, what's the Netflix show we talked about a few weeks ago? Yasuke, the... right? Yes, yes, they dropped yes. a trailer for it the other day, and it yeah. looks awesome. Yeah, it looks really fucking Very cool. Very excited. I am so excited for that. Lakeith, uh, anything that dude is, is is involved with, I am I am all about. I'm not even it's really cool. like a uh, Death Note fan, but it's also because I haven't really watched the anime or read the manga. But the movie, I was like, I feel watching the movie, uh, the, the Netflix film, I was watching you it. Brave soul. And, and I knew I was like, I was like, I'm enjoying this movie, but me enjoying it means the fans of the anime and manga are probably hating this movie yeah. right now. Oh, yeah. oh, <laughs> that's how I felt when I was watching Birds of Prey in movie theaters. I was like, wow, perfect film, amazing film, no notes, gonna bomb because this movie was made for me and no one else. <laughs> that's, I, that's how I knew it was a great movie. I thought it was I, I it. thought it was fun. I, I am a I am a fan of 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 Journey. Uh Smollett is that how you say your last name? Yeah, Smollett. Sm yeah. Smollett. I would I would love her unconditionally. I would I would ask for her hand in marriage right now. That that's where I'm at in my head at least. But I thought no, that movie was pretty good. I thought Birds of Prey was pretty entertaining. Listen, if you don't think Birds of Prey wasn't a good movie, then you've never read the comics. <laughs> that's that's fair. That is... <laughs> well, how's everyone doing today? How how's... I didn't ask that because you started talking about Japan and Sorry, the Hot Thor Prefecture. Uh, so how <laughs> yeah. how's everyone doing? I mean, I'm doing I'm doing good. Right. I'm chilling. Yeah. It's another <laughs> yeah. fucking work day, you know. Yeah, As we've dude. been talking a lot in the office, Tuesday is Secret Monday. It's truly yeah. the worst day of the week, and it's, yeah, it it's coming through on this Tuesday for sure. Yeah, Tuesday is the worst day of the week, like fully. Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad no I'm not the it. only one who has a super busy Tuesday. Yeah. Like it seems kind of it's universal across the uh, Yeah. It's also studio. just emotionally bad. You you yeah. know what? I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna throw this out here. Maybe maybe this is spicy. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. No, I, hot takes. I hot takes right. Issa Issa's got her onions and all that stuff. Mm. I I've got uh rhubarb. Is that is is that an onion? Rhubarb? I don't know. I mean I don't know. no. You can say <laughs> leeks. That, you got tumor? leeks. Oh, you got leeks. scallions. There you go. Scallions. Any green of those onions. are kind of in the onion family. Green yeah. onions. <laughs> yes, yes. But like, I, I've kind of become adapted to working from home. Mm -hmm. It's the only time where, like, in a meeting, I can literally turn off my camera and lay on the ground and stare yes. at the ceiling. <laughs> like, yes. You, I can't do that. Or maybe I'll try to do that if we get back into yeah. the office. But I don't think it'll probably be. Uh, I, I don't think it'll go over well. So yeah. I'm all about the turning up the camera, laying down, existential crisis. I'm just looking at the ceiling yeah. and seeing little little patterns in the in in the in the little in the little wallpaper or whatever yeah. I have here. No, but, yeah, uh, I don't ever want to be like... in the office again. Yeah, I, I'm 100 percent with you, like fucking office, right? But <laughs> I feel like going back is gonna be some bullshit because now during Scrum, like I'm in my kitchen making a fucking latte and like <laughs> yeah. getting shit done, right? Like. If we go back to Scrum and I'm in the middle of the fucking meeting, like making a coffee, everyone's gonna be like, "Come on, I'm gonna go like, fuck you." This is my routine now. You shouldn't have <laughs> me at home for a year. That's what you get. You paid for this, and I feel like that's just how it's gonna be. I'm gonna make coffee during every meeting, and yeah, send me back home until you get quiet <laughs> See, coffee now, machines or something. Now I'm picturing you with like an electric kettle and like a a, a pour over thing, just like in the middle of like an like an office room, yeah. and just yeah. like, no, don't yeah, mind me. Does. <laughs> no, 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 please. <laughs> Keep the meeting going. I'm just making coffee. Don't mind me. This is what I used to do, and this is what I'm going to continue doing. <laughs> <laughs> that, and see, like, and what would be great is if we all, like, did did what we normally do now, but in a meeting. So, like, Kayla, you got the kettle. Sam, you're making lattes. For me, <laughs> you're just going to randomly hear the theme song from unsolved mysteries playing because that's what i do during meetings i'm literally i have one screen with with our google meets and the other screen i'm legitimately watching unsolved mysteries with the 90s show version so have clearly oh my God. No, no one solved any mysteries like these, no. are, these, these people are gone they're they are gone just just let them go but like yeah like that's all i do during meetings is i don't pay attention and then i watch unsolved mysteries or murder she wrote Murder she wrote is a is a is a classic banger. So, what about you, Aaron? What do you do during during meetings? Uh, I mean, honestly, I tr I'm I'm a good student, and I try to pay attention, <laughs> um, only because I'm art director, and I kind of have to. Uh, otherwise, I am definitely multitasking, and I'm like trying to do art as I'm listening in, which is like I guess the one benefit of working from home for me, anyways. Because um, definitely could not do that 
going into one single meeting room and watching a review or whatever. But at least now I can like kind of multitask and get some actual work done. <laughs> so that's what's up. That's what's yeah. up. you're not over there making <laughs> NFTs and being cool and shit. No, no. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry yes. to say the NFT bubble is popping already. Uh, I bet. It's, it's, I didn't uh, even get a chance. I didn't even get a chance mm. to, to to hop in. I don't I even. Mean, I still don't even know what fungible means exactly. <laughs> do I? I'm still thinking it's funyuns. Um, it, unique. Just it's, it's unique. That's <laughs> yeah. all it's fungible yeah. is. Don't worry about it. It's just the flesh out the thesaurus. Yeah. It is unique. Yeah, Tyler had to. <laughs> Tyler had to. I, I was explaining it for the podcast episode that's coming out tomorrow. Uh, <gasps> what it was, and as I was explaining it. I needed him to give me an explanation as I was explaining it because somebody asked me about one of the words in the explanation that I could not explain. Yeah. <laughs> what was the 100%. word? Was it was it fungible? It, oh, no, it was blockchain. Token. Oh, oh okay. blockchain yeah. word. Because like I know what, what blockchain is and how it fits in, but I didn't know like what exactly blockchain meant, and I was like, mm. uh. I see like when when like my mom would ask me about like Bitcoin, oh, I would just explain it because I still don't know a hundred percent exactly. Like I don't yeah. have full comprehension of it. I just kind of do that thing to where she's just like, no, what's a, what's a Bitcoin? I'm just like, you know, ledgers, Fake ledgers, monopoly money, blockchains, yeah. you know, it's like, and like you just throw more words at it. Yeah. You now have to further explain what those words are. And well, then no, by, all, by the time you get through it, you're like, I don't really know what the hell I'm talking about. Now all you have point. to say is that all money is fake and everything that we give value only has value because we've given it value. And this is just one more thing. Look at that. You hitting like us it. with some, with some excess. Look at that. It's like diamonds. <laughs> yeah. It's diamonds. yeah. Diamonds just some old coal, like yeah, there's, <laughs> bro, it's just expired coal. Yeah, yeah, there's literally mm -hmm. so many diamonds. Like, there's so many diamonds. There's no reason yeah. for them to be that expensive, in, except in for the people ones, lying to us. Like, the ones that people make in a lab are just kind of better, right? Yeah. Like, but you can get them in colors. People don't want them. It's it's literally like if somebody just made any one of these better, but it wasn't from Nike, we would be like, nah, fuck that shit. Yeah. So that's we're what just they, that's as what stupid they do. as people that buy diamonds, but. Like, also, fuck diamonds. Yeah. Have you ever seen a dragon opal? Google no, that right now. No. Everybody open no. up a tab All right. and Google dragon, dragon opal. 100%. There's so many fucking cooler Whoa. rocks than That's diamonds. Like, like right. yeah. Oh, this is Sauron, yo. Yo, yeah. why this is you Mordor. Get, why would I'm you want a at... diamond when you could have a fucking dragon opal and that, sure. for like way less dollars? <laughs> Or like we're, any, we're all looking anything. off camera right now because we're all looking <laughs> like this is us. Look, Look at that, that, yo. That is the universe. Have you seen Men in Black? Like that's that's it. That's Orion's belt. Like like yeah, that's what it is. There's a whole universe in there. What would there's... you do if there was a universe in there? What if we are in a Dragon Opal right now? Somebody I'm about needs to, hit... to break that shit because <laughs> we fucked up. I feel like if you break that, the world would just fall into chaos. Like and, and it... then. And then you yes. have to collect the shards, and then it would become the whole plot line for Inuyasha at this oh, point. That's, <laughs> that's exactly it. <laughs> that is wild. But yeah, you know, like I, I'd be down with like some scientific grade diamonds. I feel like they would be stronger, right? And Wait, harder. Is it like more ethical as well? Not like oh, hundred yeah. percent blood yeah. diamond bullshit. Yeah, yes. diamonds is mad Dim not ethical. Yeah, that shit is not good. Diamonds and lithium are the most unethical things that we do, I think. Yeah. No, my ion batteries, yeah. 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 My ion yeah. batteries are so important to me. <laughs> at least lithium does some shit that, like, That's is true. good for people. You, like, on an odd spectrum, like, even lithium is a, uh, like, just itself is a medicine for some forms of bipolar. Like, it can be a helpful, nice. useful resource. But, like, I don't know shit diamonds do, except for, I guess, you put it on okay. saw blades and it cuts good shit. Yeah. But, Besides that, like, I don't know. I don't feel like you need diamonds for anything. Yeah. But If diamond is the hardest and we're not making shit out of the diamonds, then why do we need them? So, yeah. that's, the, so that's the thing is Bingo. we need Kanye to come back and instead of doing another Diamonds Are Forever track, it's Diamonds Are diamonds For Nothing. Diamonds Are Temporary? Diamonds oh, Are For Nothing <laughs> track. That's it. I don't think... Uh... I don't think Kanye is the person we want making messages for us. Anymore. Yeah, I don't. Um, yeah, yeah, no. Mm -mm. Old Kanye though. <laughs> old Kanye before the Yeezys came. Old out, Kanye. The... <laughs> yeah, yeah. This, I was talking to somebody about this the other day about how like you, I, I feel like you should separate the artist from the art. Yeah. And I pretty much only say that because I want to listen to Kanye's first three albums and not feel mm -hmm. guilty. 
Mm. And also man in the mirror. But like, <laughs> yeah, I just like that. That's like my whole argument, really. I don't have like a good ground point for it. It's just like those albums are really good. And I don't know what to say but, besides that. And I think I saw something, too, where it was, uh, damn it, my my brain just like, it's the dude from SNL, the, the super young dude, the one that dated Ariana Grande. Pete Davidson. Oh. You know what I'm talking yeah. about. Pete Davidson. He, yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. There you go. Pete Davidson. Where it's just like, yeah, just acknowledge that that the person's a shitty person, and then yeah. just just as long as you can acknowledge it, then yeah, then you can kind of listen to it. Well, yeah, yeah, that's like whenever someone's like, oh yeah, I want to listen to R. Kelly, and I'm like, you can listen to R. Kelly, but I just need you in your mind every time he says "girl," you got to picture a twelve year old. It's no! a twelve year old. Yeah. So if you can get oh. through that, <clears throat> man, that's 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 facts. <laughs> what right? about that's... when he says? like other synonyms I, like, like mama and shit like it's that still a you know? old. Or, <laughs> or what about like i believe i can fly because now my brain's going into some places that i'm like i don't even want to go there yeah yeah, yeah rude just... space jam that's why they have to make another <laughs> one if, if i can't like occasionally pick up the remix to ignition like i don't know i just don't even know well, like is summer even worth it anymore well sam here's the here's the real tea um yeah unfortunately i was given this forbidden knowledge please stop going to the one shot of me <laughs> <laughs> to the what <laughs> to the what okay, okay handle it uh i was given thank you i was given this unfor uh, unfortunate knowledge that if you play ignition <clears throat> part one which i didn't know there was one i just assumed it was lost to the sands of time if you play mm -hmm. that and then play ignition the remix the way they line up is like if i was like in a club when that happened i would I would have lost my goddamn mind the first time. Like, that'd be like, that'd be like, that's like if the world was open when it was like, all right, we've been listening to Savage for three weeks, but then like at the end of Savage, it perfectly looped into the remix and you hear Beyonce for that first time. <laughs> it was like that same level of, oh my God, I'm losing my goddamn mind. It is unfortunately a perfect loop. Uh, one of our coworkers did divulge the secret to me. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna add him uh but yeah it's uh if you can again if you can live with yourself it's unfortunate so, how much if i can like fucks. slam them back to back in premiere and just like yeah. the transition's incredible Fuck. it's well, per it's a literal the, perfect transition it's a, it's unfortunate the only <laughs> song that i have a hard time letting go for r kelly is a uh, step in the name of love like uh, that one but the only uh, reason why i have a uh, somewhat of an attachment for it is because I used to be a wedding videographer. Yeah, time that's of my every life. black wedding. But it was at every <laughs> black wedding. And then, like, everyone's getting down. Everyone's yeah. having a good time. And so that song, I don't know, it just kind of kind of sits somewhere in my, yeah. in my heart a little bit. But, like, just I've kind of let go. Just to throw it in the mix, <laughs> just so we can get both sides of this. It's at most millennial white weddings, too, y'all. Like, <laughs> it's, it's got that, it's got that, that kind of footprint. Like, that's when you know it's at a banger. It's at all the weddings. The range. That <laughs> yeah. and the cha-cha and slide. I've, okay. I've learned the cha-cha slide is in yep, there. Yep, <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Oh, man. All right, yo, so we got it, we got some topics that we have not even gotten, like, touched upon. Aaron, take it away. Which one do uh, you want to talk about first? I mean, uh, JoJo's Part 6 was announced on Easter Sunday. Uh, Jolene has risen. Jolene. Uh, she's coming. I'm very excited. I could go on and on about JoJo's, but I will not. So, do, so like, real quick, <laughs> I like, I, I'm aware of part six, but do we want to talk spoilers? Because, like, I don't necessarily want to go into spoilers if we don't want to go that route, but I just know that Jolene is the daughter of Jotaro. Yes. And he correct. is from part three and four, but part three, Stardust Crusaders, which is almost one of my favorites and hated parts of the entire jojo's bizarre adventure but for me it's specifically in part three how they treated my man muhammad muhammad abdul like <laughs> i had that's, to say it with yeah. it. That's it they did him so dirty and they if really anyone did. has watched it you know my man goes <laughs> out on a limb for uh what is his name polinareth is that he say his yeah, name Polnareth. goes out on a limb for his buddy gets capped dies yeah. comes back and then i'm like okay cool okay cool he's he's gonna redeem himself he's gonna he's, he's gonna have his redemption he's gonna be off the chain no he dies to another user named vanilla ice what the what? hell is that man <laughs> i was like yo they just did my boy muhammad so bad they just they just did him so dirty and i couldn't get past it even though i love Jotaro, Josuke is technically my favorite of the Jo. Well, really, Same. it's Joseph. Actually, it's Joseph because if you watch the sub version, 
the every time he says a word that's in English is the funniest thing yeah, I've ever funny. heard. But uh, but yeah, tell, tell us more about uh, part six. I just had to get that out there about part three. I love wow, it and I hate a, it. That was a journey. <laughs> I mean, uh, if we're talking about part three, I do think part three is uh, overrated. Uh, and Jotaro is easily one of the most boring uh, judges. Just He's like... There. He's like that, like, it was, you could just, you just know in your heart of hearts, if you just watch that, you just know that that one specifically was written by a man. Like, you oh, just, because, yeah. like, he's that <laughs> typical, st Jotaro is, like, what, 17, and the man is built like a 34-year-old LeBron James <laughs> yeah. with, like, six championship rings. That dude, yeah. <laughs> that dude is, like, stacked. He is built like a grown-ass he, man. He's, built he's like really mean to his mom. Posted so yeah, yeah for mom. no fucking reason oh always God. calling her so a weird. bitch and stuff yeah unnecessary like, throw back in jail oh, shit. <laughs> unnecessary <laughs> and i've never seen another person successfully use pockets so efficiently like his hands are at least one hand is it's always one hand in the pocket and the other hand is here and then he's leaning back so he's just kind of like doing this number right there <laughs> and so like that's why. <laughs> That's why, like, Jotaro, I don't know, he's 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 cool, but then he's, like, not cool. Mm -hmm. And do you, who do you think has the best power for, for their stand? Like, who oh. do you think has the best one? Out of the JoJo's? Out of the oh, JoJo's. God. Oh, no. I think, I mean, okay, so there's a thing with JoJo's. The more buff you are, the less powerful you are, I okay. guess, like, stand-wise. I mean, Jonathan doesn't even really have a stand. Uh, nah. But then you get to, like, Giorno and Jolene, who are very, well, Jolene's a literal woman, and then Giorno's, like, a little twink. He is but a they have, like, twink. the most powerful stands, in my opinion. Probably yeah. Giorno, honestly. That you asked me a part about part six, and I didn't answer your question. Uh, basically, <laughs> um, yeah, Jolene is Giorno's daughter. It takes place in 2011 in Florida, of all places. Uh, and Jolene is in prison, and yeah, that, I don't want to go too much more into it. That was spoilers. Just know that Jojo is, is like a is like a shitty dad. He's he's yeah, a ter he's a he terrible person. A better dad, uh, <laughs> but it's only like a certain extent. Yeah, who like, didn't see that happens. coming? Like he's yeah. just kind of shitty in general. Yeah, is uh... he's definitely more likable in part four, in my opinion. I is Jolene remember... the one that got the Gucci the Gucci collab? Yes. Yes. What? Hold on. Yeah. I'm about to I'm about to look that There's up right a, now. Yeah. I gotta go to a new comic. tab. Dragon Opal's in the other tab. Hold on. <laughs> a spin-off comic, uh I think it's Fly High with Gucci, something like something that. Something like that, but yeah. It's, it's, it's like a, a six story. page Gucci ad. Yeah, it's a six page Gucci ad. It's so, it stars Jolene, uh Bruno and uh Abakio from part five are there. They're like cops or something. And they're, they're like unicorns. Cops. Yeah, it's it's wild. The art is gorgeous though, so Wait, but it's in, it's like, it's, it's in, a comic. It's, it's a, a comic, yeah. but she's wearing Gucci. Hold on, I'm about to, I'm about to, I believe so, yeah. I think they, they, all they had some stuff for it. Cause I remember yeah. I was in, I, I remember being in Vegas in the Gucci store. We walked by it and it had a bunch oh, of JoJo art in the window. And I was like, why the fuck is there JoJo art on a Gucci store? And then that's how, like, I Googled it then. <laughs> and I was like, oh, that's cool. Collaborated with like a bunch of big yeah. brands. It's There's like shocking. a Dragon Ball Z Gucci drop like a couple of years ago, I think. Word? I, I think they did like crazy. an Akatsuki line. Or they did the Akatsuki line, the Dragon Ball Z line, or something crazy like that. Oh, yeah. I mean, I remember Michael B. Jordan also did something with Naruto, and yeah. he, 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 just, he just said it. He just said, I can't even describe how he said Naruto. Naruto. Naruto? Wait, what does he say? Was it Naruto? No, it's like, God, it's, it's it just hurt my heart the way he said it <laughs> so bad. It just wasn't accurate. It, it was like, uh, Nurotu. Nur, I think he says Nurotu. And I was no. like, oh, oh, bro. Oh, bro. I mean, I was like, how do you. Those are just different letters. He moved the letters around. Maybe he, he moved was the nervous. letters. It does okay, sound like I'll a give cool it to name, him. But... Yeah. I can't even say it again. Like, like the way I said it in my head, I just had to say, how do you fuck this word up as bad as possible? <laughs> and then I came out with it. So I feel like that's what he did. I'm not hating on him because, like, I would. I, I try not to be a hype beast to buy every Supreme thing or what I, I buy sure. zero Supreme stuff, but Good. it's like, if it does have like Naruto on it, if it has like a little Akatsuki symbol or a little like Uzumaki symbol, I might rock with it. But if it's like the whole shirt, I can't get mm -hmm. down with it. I'm, I mean, I'm a grown man. I got way too many graphic tees for a man in his thirties. So I'm trying fair. to like tone it down. Try to... 
I've got my uh, standby Dragon Ball do rag. <laughs> you got the Thundercat. <laughs> I got the Thundercat, baby. I think it's like over there somewhere. <laughs> I gotta see it. Please find it. Hold on. Yo, talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta see this Dragon Ball. By the way, what we're talking about is there is a there for for the audience at home. There is an amazing musician by the name of Thundercat. If you have not listened to his funky ass music, it is so good. But he has a song called uh, "Hold On." I don't want to mess up the title. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look it up. Thundercat, uh, Dragon Ball. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I guess that's what it's called. It's just called Dragon Ball Do Rag. Yeah. Check out the track. It is an amazing. Yeah. <laughs> that is exactly. It. I love it. Does it have all seven on there? Um, I, guess, like I believe it seven. does. No, it's got like a bunch of them. I don't... Okay, and real talk, I am looking at that from here, and even through the webcam, I can see the quality in it. It mm, looks. It is double layered, which I'm is a double edged sword. On it? Yo. it is thick and soft, but it is so <laughs> thick that it comes off in the night sometimes because of the dual layers. But like, what you gonna do? You gotta tie it tighter. You gotta. It's silky. <laughs> you so tie it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but that is gr man that's crazy I'm when does the uh, oh, when does the uh, part still come in out? the bonnet too so uh there hasn't been an announcement date i think they literally just announced it on sunday confirming that it is in fact happening uh that's... but judging by previous releases uh i would bet on it coming out later this year maybe like fall or winter anime season very I feel cool. like there's no no stopping JoJo at this point, just because the meme community behind it is so oh, like yeah. it's so the strong. memes are the reason to watch JoJo probably yeah. like that's like the best thing. It's like the JoJo like Iraqi and then they built a car and then the fuel is all the memes that people make <laughs> it really around is. it. <laughs> Like, cause that's how that whole thing works. Because man, the the fucking memes for that community I, are so. Sam, strong. I I still remember yeah. when we were when you and I were were researching and writing for the death battle that was, uh, it was it was JoJo's Bizarre Adventure and what was it Fist of the North Star? Was that yeah, it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, who's the dude great. from Fist again? I forget his name. I forgot his name too. Shit. Oh my yeah. God. Either way, <laughs> but I <laughs> not Jonathan. But I remember <laughs> when when we when we had to like write that the fight. The first thing I was thinking of was how many of these JoJo memes can we fit in one fight? And luckily, we had the help of of Jets uh, crews. So he absolutely loves the show. And every single time we were we were thinking about like what could happen. Our first thought was like, how do we, how do we make Joseph Joestar say something that is like a meme, a hundred percent? And we worked in a couple memes, and I'm super proud of how that fight turned out. I thought it was great, but uh, but Fist, yeah, that, that, is, that was it right there. Is um, Fist of yeah, the North Star that was a good one. We got you, music track and everything was great for that. Oh we yeah, got the, the whole the thing. Who's the character who does the thing with the cherry on the train? So Paul and Rep, yeah, 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 the railroad guy. Oh, it's that one dude. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And That's he does the, the little. Part of that how does the sound again go? It's like. Fuck me, that's good stuff. Oh, oh, I think man. it was just ahead of his time making all these. Memes. Oh no doubt, Dude. no doubt. <laughs> Slash, he didn't Bushy. understand much. Yeah. Like I feel like he was just fucking around the whole mm -hmm. time and didn't understand how people were like. He just kept going and nobody stopped him. Dude, he was just like, it's I'm gonna draw buff dudes named after fucking awesome musicians. And then this is for me. And if anybody else reads it, then like that's on them. Yeah. Right? Exactly. Yeah, right. And I then like that. and then like Josuke, if I'm not mistaken, from part four is yeah. based on Prince, at least like his design. Um I think if you like if you like Google that, I'm I, I'm pretty sure I'm right. I'm pretty sure yeah, I'm right. I feel like this is a this is this is a hot take here. I feel like he is the anime version of Hideo Kojima. <laughs> oh yeah for sure yeah like he just goes for it right i have like a very specific genre of like media i like and it's weird japanese things so like mm. hideo kojima araki um they're, whoever yeah, does they're in the mix Nier, for sure. Atomata, yeah. yoko whatever his name is i yeah. love that shit so good that's what's up and yeah, his you favorite know, musician is prince speaking yep. speaking of just going for it and like fucking around but making dope shit Kayla, tell us about the podcast. Since we're at the midpoint, let's 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 plug that Good podcast role. in there. Uh, what podcast? <laughs> Your podcast, Bull. No, no, 
dumb. <laughs> oh, you mean no dumb answers with Mark and Brad? <laughs> yes, that one. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. So I have this podcast, right? It's called No Dumb Answers with Mark and Brad, and it comes out on Wednesdays uh, for at least the next two weeks. And then after that, you've got eight old, hep- eight old episodes that you can binge on the RT website or wherever you find podcasts. Uh, it's super fun. It's me, uh, Mariel Salcedo, who I'm sure you guys know. And uh, my, our other coworker Zoe, and we have guests almost every week. And uh, basically, it's a podcast within the podcast. So it's a fake podcast with a real podcast in it. Um, it's easier to just listen to it than for me to explain the premise. But I promise <laughs> you, it is very funny. And uh, we talk about stuff like, uh, can you fuck past the balls? Or like, what happens when bronies make a cum jar and it goes wrong? <laughs> uh, <laughs> so yeah, if any of that interests you, uh, tune in. Oh, also we had a very heated uh, two episode discussion on uh, the proper Oreo oh, cream no. amount. The correct answer is obviously double stuffed Oreos should be the standard stuff. Oh shit! No, yeah. it is normal and, Oreos. And <laughs> normal actually, Oreos Noel, you're balanced. incorrect. We had a poll, and you are incorrect. We had so <laughs> we had more people do the poll than follow the account, and that's how you know people cared about it. <laughs> <laughs> The Zoe, <laughs> Zoe was on this podcast like yeah, four or five before. weeks ago, and we talked about the Oreo thing, and I think all yeah. of us agreed like standard Oreos are better. Nah. It's harmonious, it's it's balanced, yeah, disgusting. Yeah. It's it's we. Uh, I think Zoe said it where if you go double stuff, that's just gluttony. Like it's just no. gluttonous. Like but then, just... but then the bitch. No, here's the thing. <laughs> this is why me and her get into fights. This is why me and her get into fights. It'd be one thing if she said that, but then she said. Or mega stuff is a perfect amount, and I'm like, now hold on. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, for her, I she's mean, she's living Johnny tsunami. She's like, go you, big or go home. Like, yeah, no, exactly. Not. Mega stuff is a gluttonous, disgusting display of of, <laughs> of human hubris, and yeah. I don't think they should exist. Mankind was not supposed to discover this. We were not supposed to be stuffed tr- thrice. Like I don't. <laughs> Good Lord. Can you I, I still feel like I'm on her side with this one entirely. I'm, like, I'm, I'm, I'm about the harmonious Oreo. Uh, mm-hmm. Kayla, can you preview what the, a little bit about this week's episode? What's that one about? Uh, yeah, this week we've got... It's back! Look, it's look, at look at that. Look at... Cursed. Look how messy cursed. that is. Cursed. It looks like you just dropped it on the floor. One like, cookie is 110 calories. Eat oh, my ass. shit. Yo, I'm about that. Oh, looks like a goddamn <laughs> ice cream sandwich. Uh... <laughs> Anyway, what would you say? I was saying, uh, can you preview what this week's episode is? Like, uh... Mm. Yes, we have Hannah on this week, uh, playing a character. Uh, Hannah... Hannah... McCarthy. 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 <laughs> Thank you, holy shit. She's an I was like, you know, Hannah Knifewife, that's her last Hannah name. Hannah <laughs> Knifewife. Uh, yeah, Hannah McCarthy is our guest this week, and, uh, she plays a Casmer YouTuber. Uh, Casmer, that's cat ASMR. Uh, what? Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry. There's cat ASMR. Uh, I made it up for this podcast. Oh, uh, I'm it might be real. Yeah. I there, don't know. 100. There is. Well, there you ASMR. go. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. So that's our thumbnail for this week's episode. <laughs> uh, we also talk about uh, suffragette jutsu. Oh, um, suffrage! Funny. Wait, wait, what is? That? Yeah, so basically, suffragettes—the women who were like, "Give women the right to vote," but just the white ones. Um, whenever they were marching in the streets, they would get arrested a lot by the police. So they learned um, martial arts, and they were fighting cops in the streets and throwing down. And uh, we talk about the woman who like was the most notorious one for doing oh, that. Shit. That, yeah, this sounds like a hot episode. Too. This sounds like an off the chain episode. Yeah, Wednesdays. Anyway, it's right out there. Wednesdays. Yeah, Wednesdays. <laughs> yeah, so that's that's out tomorrow at three a.m. aka midnight Pacific time. Wait, what? Wait, th- oh, wait, like three a.m. Up... like like Eastern Standard Time? No, three. Yeah, three a.m. Eastern Standard Midnight Pacific. Whatever. Word word. Yeah. This was... Wednesdays. <laughs> Wednesdays. Wednesdays. Yeah, yeah, it just Wednesdays. comes out Wednesday. If you're awake on the Wednesday, it's out. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, let's move on to the since we're this later half. Let's move on to the next topic. It was the reason why I said this was going to be a very spiritual episode. Because uh, Aaron, set us off. What are we talking about here? Oh gosh. Uh, so <laughs> I discovered this quote unquote commune, a TikTok commune, uh, and some people are questioning this commune. It sounds very cult-like, 
Though if you ask them about it, they will deny it. And uh, I've we asked Sam if he wanted to be on because he has a little experience with uh, cults. And I know Kayla, <laughs> I think you did a lot of research on this. Yeah, Correct we, me if I'm wrong. Yeah, we talked about it on last week's episode, I think. So excited. Oh, wow, yeah. that is so, great. Cults what, are super fascinating to me. What's up with this cult? Oh, Did, bro, what what's not up with this cult? <laughs> yeah, like, give, give me the lowdown here. Yeah. Well, I mean, one, like, they're, like, the, are they called The Garden? Yeah, is which what? is literally, like, if you're writing a book about cults and you didn't know what to name your cult yet, you'd be like, the I'm just gonna yeah. call them The yeah. Garden. Yeah. The yeah. Garden, Flip yeah. Through, like, the Bible yeah. and trying to find a word. Yeah. This is it, The Garden. <laughs> yeah. The garden is is either a cult or just every single apartment complex ever. Like, <laughs> yeah. It's either the, the cult the, at the garden, the Eden at the garden, or this yeah. or the countryside at the garden. <laughs> I feel like it's every uh, every two at least there's there's at least a one bedroom every apartment complex that that has the word the garden in it. I feel like the starting base model one bedroom studio is over a thousand dollars. No, I feel like that's the way it is. But that's yeah, disgusting. But Sorry, what's up with someone this said there's if you spend forty, you spend forty dollars and get a nine pound pail of Oreo only filling. What? Uh, that's disgusting. Uh, what that. would you do with it? Die. die. <laughs> you simply. I feel die. like it's just like lard and sugar, though, right? Yeah. Like it can't be no, anything yeah. crazy. Well, no, or it's it's not lard because it's they're vegan, right? Yeah, because yeah, you're right. They're vegan, so oh. it can't be. Or you that's, just flip it. Do, you though. you just flip it. You just like start to make your own sugar. Oreos and you just sell them each a little bit more. And then you just try to like, you just try to run the the, the Girl Scout cookies. You try to run them out of business. So like you just kind of like buy that thing for forty dollars. You make your own cookies and then try to try to triple that mug. I don't know why else I anyone feel else like would buy for that. some reason if you tried to encroach on Girl Scout territory, like I feel like they come fuck you up. Like, they do, yeah. right? That's a especially that's a cult. <laughs> as a like as a grown man, like you cannot you literally it's illegal to defend yourself against Girl Scouts. Like, you can't do anything. <laughs> you that... just have to take the fucking beat down and go on with your day. Like Not there's Florida, no though. other options in this. It's so. illegal to say no. I've, I've, yeah. I, I, I don't think anyone has successfully <laughs> said no to at least a thin mint to, to a, or every to time a, they catch me like right outside the CVS or some shit, like under my breath, I'm like motherfucker. Of course I want <laughs> no. Samoas. Like every time they just, <laughs> they'll get around it. Bro. What's your favorite um, Girl Scout cookie? I guess it's Samoas, it? no doubt. Well, they stopped calling them Samoas. They're coconut delights now because Samoas oh, okay. was insensitive. Yeah. Was it? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like is that right. with, with the coconut on it? Is that what it's called? The, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah so. <laughs> See, coconut delights is also just a better descriptor. It really of is. the fucking cookie. Because if yeah, you didn't no, know. I know exactly what that yeah. is. Yeah, you know. Yeah. 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 There's no second guessing. <laughs> My, mine are Thin Mints, but very but only specifically in the, freezer? the freezer. Yeah. Yes. You, you shouldn't even fuck with a Thin Mints. If mint you don't throw your Thin Mints in the freezer, I cannot trust you. I yeah. cannot. Okay. Okay. I cannot co-sign on any documents that you need. I cannot notarize <laughs> anything that you need. But again, warm thin mints are like like cold soup. Like it, yeah. just, it's not oh. for me. Not for me. Get out of here. Yeah. Right. Give me all your room temperature thin mints. I'll eat them. I'll tell you. They're better in the freezer. I don't know. What they are, them. but I'll still eat a room temperature. Dude, all my favorite Girl <laughs> Scout cookies. I don't care. I think my favorite good. cookies got discontinued. All of them. Wait, what? Which ones? I loved All Abouts, and I loved the lemon version of the All About. Basically, the All, all about, about was like the shortbread cookie with the chocolate on the bottom. I don't I I remember, remember that. Oh, that oh, one. Um... Okay. Wow. Ah, there we go. Okay. Yeah. Okay, then, okay. Back okay. to Google, everybody. Yeah, and then they had one that was like a basically like a lemon cookie sandwich type thing. That then became a lemon version of the All About, and then I think they just discontinued that and made this bullshit dusted <laughs> lemon cookie like it was like a like a powdered really? lemon cookie that i would rather like i'd rather eat a regular oreo than eat that cookie it's awful it's disgusting uh the lemon ups they got rid of them oh, yeah wow. the ones that were like the lemon cream sandwiches yeah those are pretty good they were fantastic I, and i feel like they were only around for like two years i oh now they have lemonades yeah, yeah fuck that yeah I, okay, so I kind of get weirded. Uh, okay, so to a to a very oh. small degree, I kind of get weirded out by <laughs> things that are lemon flavored. Sure, but it's only because, and it's not the lemon's fault. It's not the lemon flavor's fault. It's it's really it's more me. It's not a it's not you. It's me. It's um, 
I, I worry about things that are lemon flavored because things that are banana flavored off. Nothing tastes good that is banana flavored. Oh yeah. Well, I mean it's not even like real banana flavoring. It's just like some no fake science. It's the flavor, old it? it's the old so banana. It's the old oh, banana. Oh, the old okay. banana. Yeah. What, the, what is it called? There's there's there's, there's Cavendish. Yeah, I think it's, it's Cavendish and then Gros Michel. Is that what it's called? Gr it's like French. Gross. Gr it's like yeah. It's like gross. Do not confirm. But yeah, I remember yeah. it being like a gross. They gross. <laughs> but yeah, that's old yeah. banana, Aaron. It, it was what bananas actually taste okay. like before yeah, it made new yeah, bananas. That's what they used to taste like. What? That's why your mouth is like, what the fuck is that? What that's the hell is bananas. this? No. <laughs> yeah. They j just just for the record, they also kicked out tagalons apparently, which what? I always thought were pretty dank. So they can't take the peanut anymore. butter, one, right? Girl Scout yeah, cookies. they're the, the now they have peanut butter sandwiches, so they just replaced yeah. it with a different peanut butter Dude, cookie. They keep and peanut butter patties. There's too many cookies. <laughs> no, there's the also, wrong. Like there's only nine, Aaron. There's only nine. That's yeah, too many. Those, those shitty toffee t cookies, and I feel like they're like Ew, a cranberry gross. cookie one year that was really good. Toffee's disgusting. Wait, they got seasonal cookies now? Yeah. Okay. No, they don't. Okay, my sisters were Girl Scouts, so like. I literally, from like their K through twelve, like my, we had like a fuck ton of Girl Scout cookies in the house, so I like knew all of them and when they were coming in and out of the season. And it's just like they be they be cycling through them. Like one year they were like, I don't know, mm, the the dice say vegan chocolate chip cookies, and then two years later they're gone. Oh, I'm no, these are uh, NFT <clears throat> cookies. <laughs> I'm looking at our I'm looking at our chat and, and Mike is saying the names are different based on regions. Yeah, they different are. factories what? have different yeah. names for the same recipe. Yeah. That just sounds like discrepancies all I'm over the place. That sounds like poor yeah. quality control. It's like uh I think it's like cuz there's two there's an East Coast and a West Coast manufacturer, I think. So when they make them, it's like they they're basically like, "All right, you can do this, but you got you got to use a different name for whatever fucking reason. See, yeah, they're different regionally. That's terrible. The last time the East yeah. Coast and the West Coast were beefing, we lost yeah. Biggie and Tupac. We I cannot know. lose the, and now we're losing cookies. Come on now, like the, end like, this the, thing. like the all abouts, were, like like the, like I call them all abouts. But when I moved here and found out that they had them on the West Coast, and I bought like five boxes one year, uh, they weren't even called all. I don't even remember what they were called. They were called like good good lessons for children or whatever the fuck they named them oh well, they had the things on them like you're a leader and stuff right yeah 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 Ooh, sounds like sounds culty to me Yo, yeah. right 2007 has a girl scout s'more cookie I, 2017 that shit fucked, I mean. dude yeah that looks like it was absolutely... the s'more cookie it was like a square yeah. and it was a graham cracker with a thin layer of like marshmallow and then it was like dunked in wait, chocolate i'm sorry wait hold on hold on real quick hold on how did you say that again I'm marshmallow sorry. Wait, how do you say that? Marshmallow? Marshmallow? <laughs> I've never Is that how you spell it though? Is that how you say it? Because you got you're saying it with so much confidence. That's I'm how worried. I, that's, that's how you actually say it. Listen, this is raccoon. Been... This is raccoon all over again and I will not be silenced. <laughs> so Wait, so what's what's the what can I get the proper pronunciation on raccoon? Raccoon? <laughs> okay. Yeah. I, was, I do the ra at the beginning, so I you, guess I do it wrong. But you say that with so much confidence, I'm about to change the way. I'm about to subscribe to this ideology now. <laughs> say that one more time for me, please. Marshmallow, marshmallow, marshmallow or raccoon? <laughs> How's the the marsh comes out so clean and fast under it? Like, I don't know, know how like she's key. doing it. <laughs> and then it's just mallow, marshmallow. That's how you spell it? Marshmallow. Mar <laughs> I thought I mean, originally I you were Kale's saying it with the right. I mean, phonetically, I think you are you are on it, but like, I can't change my. Isn't it spelled with an A, not an E, right? Yeah. Yeah. When it? Oh wow! See, okay. Marshmallow you, is that one. Musician. You converted me, <laughs> Kayla. You have converted me to the marshmallow. <laughs> marshmallow, yeah. Marsh yeah. the, and I can't say it the way you say it though. You, there's like a weird transition between Marsh and Mala. Marshmallow. I, I can't marshmallow. Do it. Well, I can't. Sam, you say it like an Italian or something. Ma Sam, uh, it's in my blood. A, That's the only marsh, way I got. It's uh, a marshmallow. Yeah. <laughs> That's like uh, I think Zoe yelled at me hey, for hey, I, I I said like collab instead of like collab. Collab, I guess. But I'm like <laughs> the strain on your face. I don't know. Wait, what oh, is this? Ooh, this is, is the diagram. The wait, is, yeah, what? see, I know the ABC what? bakers. 
yeah the different yeah, manufacturers the left bucks we are looking at the different manufacturers for for those in 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 uh monitor computer monitor land abc <laughs> bakers and little brownie bakers wait yeah, but the abc one? looks like the winner yeah yeah i mean you can tell it's got more fat more sugar more calories yeah. less it's got, protein so it's you got know faint it's vanilla so, yeah, and vanilla, marshmallow yeah. If they didn't okay. write s'mores on the right one, I would not have guessed that is a s'mores yeah. cookie. No. That looks like I a think from the side, looking cookie. From the side profile, profile you would have guessed s'mores, though. Profile? Profile, yeah. It's I'm just adding new pronunciations to words. That's the profile. From the side That's Garfield. how it's spelled. Don't think about it. <laughs> <laughs> Which, by the way, speaking of like pronouncing words, I will say in my experience on this planet, I have a very hard time trusting men specifically who say the word don't we finance <laughs> yeah. finance say what not finance they finance. say finance. finance you like i will People say this, go, finance go to any go to any go to any car dealership and try to like try to get a car like try to finance a car and they will always say oh you're looking to finance a car and i'm like wait what wait i'm sorry what? so anytime yeah. a person says finance i cannot trust them it's like I oh cannot, you're trying to I, steal my wallet <laughs> to... You're ripping me off. That is. Oh, oh yeah, no. here we go. More here we go. So, so this is everywhere. But look at like, that divide between DFW. Like look at that. Why is That's Texas a... like that? Oh, this yeah. shit followed the Mississippi. Look at look that. Look at that. Look yeah. at that. <laughs> That's so weird. I like that Austin. <laughs> Austin and Dallas could have beef. Dallas and yeah. Fort Worth could have beef over these cookies. Are are, yeah. are we looking at the manufacturers, or is this the Electoral College we're looking at here? Right. Kind of <laughs> Alabama <laughs> split, and then like just New Orleans gets like that part of Louisiana. Like what? That's wild. <laughs> that is wild. Thank you for pulling that up. That, that was is, amazing. Uh, you learn something new every day. Yeah, <laughs> slack that to me. I wanna I wanna look at that more. <laughs> I wonder if that's why I feel like I've seen a lot of different styles because like living in DFW, we got both of them. Like you said, across the imaginary line yeah. didn't even know right like yeah that's, like i thought i was eating two different my worlds you, are Tyler. colliding right now <laughs> they're Learned my so worlds are today. are financing right now i'm not yeah. i'm not in stop <laughs> financing so how wait, wait, so so first wait real quick we, we got off on a crazy cookie tangent which i which is delicious yeah, never, and i'm okay we, but let's breeze past cults let's talk about these cults again let's talk about these i'm so excited so so yeah so sam uh what type of uh what are your thoughts on cults or do you have <laughs> oh my God, we are the we are the notes. i love it yeah Thank uh, you. yeah i mean the reason i got tagged along is because i grew up in a little bit of a cult um, what yeah i mean like i guess i, I don't know about a little bit of a cult story. right but like it's yeah it's i don't know where you draw the line but it def like i mean it was definitely because like women weren't allowed to wear like you know they could wear skirts but not pants they couldn't cut their hair go to doctors you know like Obviously, shit to Wait, oppress cult, people or is this and like stuff. An Amish community. This just sounds like my church. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, it was just like hyper fucking Christian. It was some okay. weird ass Christian shit, right? Like, Are it was still, still like the OG Jesus with like, I guess, some extra spice on the Holy Spirit, right? But yeah, it was like, I mean, you meet in a stone temple and like a field and stuff. Like, I was really young, so I don't remember a lot of it. Like, my big takeaway from cult was like, the dessert table at like the gatherings was off the chain the so like i don't what kind of girl scouts like, did they have i mean it was it was a homemade stuff right because like sure. the the cult was like you're a housewife you need to stay in that fucking house and do wife shit so like they made wild ass fucking desserts and they were just popping off so like that is obviously not a great place to be but the yeah. pies were off the chain so, <laughs> sure. that's the catch they, they is, get uh, off the pie so uh, they looking keep, past so the they creator can. and just yeah. focusing on the creation and yeah i do are. i i, I remember the stone temple and where all the kids had to go sit in this like upstairs little ladder area and stuff during all the weird preachy shit and yeah that was i mean mm. it's cult stuff i feel like also i would have been like i would be so down to join any cult just to like, say, like dip that's in why... Right, well, like, hey, I'm not gonna stay. If you go into the garden, if you've got, yeah. yeah, if you've got a bus fare, you can go to Tennessee, hang out in the garden. Well, I mean, more like some like Heaven's Gate shit. Like, I'm not gonna like at you least just, then you get some free Nikes, right? Yeah, like, if like, you're you rolling want... up to this shit, like, <laughs> I don't think those... they get anything. Like, yeah, they were they were decades. Um, decades, was, but... yeah. You just want those Nike decades. Yeah, I feel <laughs> like like you're not rolling up to the garden to get a shit. Like, there's no uniforms or anything. Like, I don't I don't know about that. Like, I, I don't want a poor cult, right? Yeah. Like, 
No, that's fair. I want some I mean, like cool shit. If, if the garden isn't the cult, like isn't a cult, like the worst thing that it is is that one they do crazy shit, like they ate a feral cat and. Whoa, whoa, whoa. hey, uh, Aaron. Honestly, it sounds like it's more like they'll invite you into their commune for like two weeks to squeeze out at out as much work as they can out of you, like <clears throat> to help support their community, and then they'll kick you out. Yeah, that's like yeah. at best. So, wow. I mean, See, yeah. there's some weird, I would I shouldn't say weird, weird is kind of derogatory. There's some interesting, freaky, uh, like, communes in the Austin area. I know a guy that, that uh, I used to hang out with, like, early college time, and he lives in an Austin commune. Oh, shit. And, like, every time I hear about him or, like, see a thing from him, it's some, like, wild, like, hey, there's nine of us, and we built this, like sustainable fish pond on our land and like you know praise up to spirits and everything that did it and i'm just like wow that guy is like i bet his parents are upset but <laughs> yeah. see for Wait, me so, no go okay, ahead Aaron. No. i was gonna say uh because for the garden the thing about it is that they'll allow like anybody in like there's no background checks or yeah. whatever so you definitely get an interesting array of people and wow. it's i don't know it's kind of sketchy man See for I don't, I don't know why people, especially TikTok, they're for, like targeting TikTok kids. Yeah, to like no, come. fully. For me, I, 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 I still am trying to learn and wrap my head around like you know how people can can get into these cults because I I'm not a religious person at all. Like for the audience, I am agnostic because at the end of the day, I just think humans are wrong and dumb I, like i i i want to take a i'm going to take a big swing here and just say oh, I, you're agnostic because you just want to hedge your bets right? well okay so 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 i'm agnostic like, that's because all, like, that's I, why you're here you just you I, don't want to be wrong on either side i'm agnostic because like i i'm okay with saying yo i don't know and <laughs> that's it and then the thing is i i think that like people ask me you know they'll say like uh do you do you believe in God? And then I'll say, yeah, I mean, I could see it happening. And they're like, okay, well, great. And then I'm like, but I think your God's wrong. And I'm like, I think, I think our understanding of what we perceive to be whatever is just wrong. So I'm always just like blown away how people can get so, you know, take things so literal. And, and like a lot of these stories, you know, specifically now I'm just talking about like the Christian Bible because that's all I'm aware of. Everything just feels like it was just copy pasted from somewhere else. And, I, and so no, for me, no, no. I, I, I try to, I try to wrap my head around, I, I just don't think anyone could influence me to get me to join something like a cult. Cause I would be so cynical and I would literally be questioning the hell out of them. And then I would have this face every time they told me something, I'll go, mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, the thing with cults is mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. they typically target people that are, like, maybe, like, a little bit antisocial or they don't have, like, much of a community they already belong to. Like, they purposely go out and looking for, like, outcasts or outsiders and make yeah. them feel welcome. It's not so like... I'm great. I'm great. It's like cult gangs. Right <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, like, See, I got trust issues. That's why I, I don't yeah. believe anything. Yeah. Also, I'll, it's like, it, first of all, A, I've seen way too many cult shows i know far too much about cults and then b i don't respect authority especially a man telling me to do anything directly i would be like no yeah and i don't blame you <laughs> don't don't trust that person don't no. trust that man don't trust See, it. especially a man that says finance don't trust it yeah i feel like i feel like i would be at least twice as likely to join a cult with like a female leader because then i would feel like oh there's some new shit maybe they're on to something <laughs> right <progressing>. like, <laughs> but like especially like just like if you if i show up it's a 60 year old white guy that looks like my dad like i'm fucking out of this shit like, <laughs> uh, we all have had a thousand chances and gotten it wrong every time this one ain't it y'all like that track let's see the next cute. like next set come on are there any female cult leaders? Like, I yes. Oh, I mean, yes. like Oprah, I, but no, that's there's like... a woman. Uh, they were it's a uh, wild, wild country. They made the documentary, and it's like this woman, the one she that was, was, yeah, she was like hella high powered in that cult, but the, the, the guy was still the leader. Eh, he was like Look a figurehead, no, <laughs> yeah. Netflix documentary. Yeah, yeah, like, I mean, she made, like, all the decisions all, yeah. pretty much. But, like, there, if you ask anyone at the camp who the leader is, they would say that guy. And then if you also, ask anyone who to go to for anything, they would say her, pretty much. There's like, also she this definitely other one. Her. It's, like, foreign, and they were, like, a paramilitary group. That was what? basically a, a little cult. militia and action? I, I don't, yeah. 
and it was led by a woman, but I can't remember the name of it. I feel like last podcast Lady Deathstrike episode on air. Hmm? Was that is it Lady Deathstrike? I'm just trying to think of like any like super hardcore name (laughs) that that like a woman leader would would want to have. No, they always are just like Bonnie. (laughs) Bonnie Ethel. (laughs) No, literally that or fucking like spider stuff for some reason. Black Wait, widow, spider stuff? stuff like yeah. that, yeah. Well, Black Widow, Probably that's that. like a woman that like kills rich men after she marries yeah. them so she can yeah. inherit their money. Oh, or like, uh, I thought it was just to eat them. Yeah. Uh, uh, wait, no, that's a that's a, that's a praying we'll mantis. That that's a praying mantis. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper pods. Goop. Goop is absolutely a cult. Yeah. Wait, what is Goop? What the fuck is Goop? That's Gwyneth Paltrow. Oh, okay. Wait, Gwyneth Paltrow crazy, is a cult? crazy fucking nonsense. She is. She yeah, called it goop though? What is yeah. goop? Yeah, it's it's fucking Joe Rogan for men. Yeah, it's literally Joe Rogan for or men. Joe Rogan she sells for a women. candle that oh, smells like her vagina dude. Exactly. Yeah. I was about to say that's the only thing the I know. Pussy about candle. Candle. Yeah. The pussy candle. The story yeah. from the day in the office where he like I don't know if it's real, but there was somebody who like claimed to be an ex goop employee and they were just like, Yeah, so Gwyneth came in one day and like we had to smell her vagina to make what? a candle that smelled like it. And it's like the story, and I'm just like, Man, that's a fucking job. Like what like, wait, like, like she had something of it, or like you had to just walk up that close got, to her. Got on the table, I guess. Like, <laughs> How does sure one... you can find the article? Yeah, <laughs> like is she like prone? <laughs> or or the employee? I feel like the employees are on their knees and they have to like walk under a table. That's a fucking. Cult. <laughs> <laughs> That's some culture yeah. right there. That's them going through the through the through heaven's gate <laughs> to or, get to the garden. Like, that's what it is. That's, <laughs> that's some brilliantly weird like CEO power play shit you're gonna Dude, pull. That's like ah, the that's boss. like the fucking woman yeah. at Fox News, uh, the one that's like dating the Trump son. That oh, she got like yeah, yeah, yeah. She, yeah they, she had like a bunch of harassment claims from like her oh, no. her employees, and then she was just like, "I'm just like the men. I can harass the women that work here too." And it was like, but it was like weird shit. She was like making them like shave her and like give the, like give her like back massages and like she would just make them like watch porn in her office. It was like weird <laughs> harassment. Wow. That is very weird. Yeah. You know, like the uh, CEO or the founder for Thanks, which is like period uh, underwear, like yeah. also did some like weird shit. Jesus. Yeah. Oh no, that's yeah, wait. I, mean, I hope it's not on some Gwyneth <laughs> Paltrow level though. Bro. Uh, I think if you look at anything Gwyneth Paltrow is in these days, you can tell nothing's on her level. She's on a whole Bro. new level. Literally, like, this, Gwyneth, this lady has lost it. Gwyneth Paltrow plays herself in the Netflix series The Politician. Like the character is, li- she's just yeah, literally yeah. doing Gwyneth Paltrow role play. Like all of it, I'm just like, no, she would do that. This is absolutely accurate. Yeah, an autobiography. Yeah, that show it feels, pretty it feels good. biographic. I like that show. I wonder when the new season comes out. I'm gonna check that out after. That show fucks. That's I a love good it. Show. Yeah, I like it a lot. Well, the only bad thing note... about that show, not on HBO Max. <laughs> and, and on that note, that's that's our show. We run out. <laughs> we run out of time. Thank you for watching another another spiritual episode of I Have Notes. Tomorrow, check out more live streams and gameplay coming up. Next up, we have Stays In. Caden is back, and I'm so excited. Wednesday at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time, Daylight Time, CDT. Don't forget to follow everyone here in social media. Kayla's got the No Dumb Answers with Mark and Brad out tomorrow. Check that out. And that's our show. Appreciate your time, everyone. Enjoy the rest of your day.